So we are at the largest industry trade show in the plant industry right now. We are at Cultivate and it's put on by American Hort. And if this gives you any clues as to what I'm gonna be talking about, we're gonna actually be walking through the new plant display and I'm gonna be showing you side by side all the new proven winner annual varieties for 2024. So I know I've done a lot of different videos at the greenhouse or Rod and I putting up our containers together, uh, but I think this is gonna be kind of a video where you can just zoom through it and look at all of the different varieties in one place. So let's go do it and check out all the new proven winner annual varieties for 2024. Hi, I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings and this is so exciting, let's go look. So the first new plant variety we're gonna start off with is a new Caladium. And this one here is Heart to Heart Rain or Shine. So the Heart to Heart series of Caladiums can be grown in full sun to full shade areas. This particular one is unlike any of the others I've seen so far in the series. It's got really deep dark olive green in the foliage and then there's a lot of burgundy and even some pink undertones coming through. And then you're seeing a light splotching there of really light pink. So really a very pretty and unique leaf, kind of more of the darker feel to it. Um, but that would look really great with some pink petunias or pink super bells. A great thriller in a combination. The next plant we're gonna look at is a superbina. This is Superbina Cherry Stormburst. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the tag up there for you. So Superbina Cherry Stormburst, and it's actually an improved variation of the Cherry Stormburst. So in the past, we've had Cherry Stormburst for several years, and on rare occasions, we would see where the flower would kind of send out uh, some more of these paley, peachy looking flowers, and it was pretty irregular. And a lot of times people thought that their plant was blooming wrong. Well, the improved version actually has been improved in such a way that it's going to more often send out these random occurrences on the plant. So it's not gonna just be an occasional occurrence, it's gonna happen more often. Um, I think it's kind of neat just to have kind of a little different look going on on one plant. Some of you are gonna love it, others of you are gonna really not like it. So, you know, if you're feeling you want, you know, all this flower here, and you're getting some of this going on, it's gonna bother you. But that is the intention of this plant, and this, this is what it's supposed to do. So if you don't like that, this isn't the plant for you. Um, but I do think it's really kind of a unique improvement because it's gonna happen more often than not. Here's another example of it. The next plant we're gonna take a look at here is the James Britannia. This is Safari Dusk. There's, always, there's also Safari Dawn and Safari Sky in this series. The James Britannia are one of those plants that are really nice and drought tolerant. Uh, this feature is kind of a nice lavender purple flower about the size of a dime or a nickel. Um, it's got strong heat and humidity tolerance. So for those of you in the south, I think this is gonna be a great addition for containers as well as hanging baskets. Uh, something maybe you would use as a, in place of a bacopa. Lovely flowers. Then we have the Double Delight Apple Blossom Begonia. So new color in this Double Delight series. Double Delight Apple Blossom has an abundance of cascade white and soft pink double blooms, delightful citrus-like fragrance. It has excellent sun tolerance, nice flower count and vigor. I um, mean, I think it's really got a nice habit to it, kind of more of that mounding type habit. And let's take a smell. I would say there's a little fragrance. I'm not smelling a lot, but it could be too because we're here indoors in the trade show that some of that scent perhaps has kind of gone away. Um, but really a really pretty crisp, clean white with that light peach outer edge there. The next plant we here, have here is the Sensatia Coconut Improved Nemesia. So last year there was a new Nemesia out, Aromance Mulberry, that I just raved about. Absolutely love that new plant. So the Sensatia Coconut Improved Nemesia now has greater flower coverage, a nicer, tidier habit, 
improved heat tolerance, and a more persistent color. The Sensation Amicia is exceptionally cold tolerant and makes a great substitute if you normally plant pansies for early season color. This would be a great substitution in its place. In our trials, both at the greenhouse and in our home containers, we have been very impressed with, even in the heat of the summer, how well this Nemesia is holding up. Also an improved variety is the Catalina Pink Improved Turinia. Trinia is a shade garden essential. So if you're looking for an annual for the shade garden, Trinia are just one of those great plants, both in containers, in the landscape, and also in hanging baskets. So the improvement is, is it now has larger uniform pink flowers. It has an increased vigor to it and beautiful flower production. You can see here on this plant, it is just loaded with flowers. In the past, this plant was a little maybe just a little lackluster, really didn't give us a lot of flower power, but I can definitely see here in this proved version that there is a lot more flower coverage going on. And really it's a beautiful kind of pink, a little bit of those purple undertones going on, but just a nice full mounding uh, plant of color. Here we have Color Bray's Cherry Drop, part of the Drop series of coleus. The Drop series of coleus are ones that are more trailing. They have a nice trailing habit in containers and in combinations. The Color Blaze Coleus can be grown in full sun to part shade to shade locations. Uh, but I will say that the more sun it gets, the more intense coloration you're gonna have. And you can see here in this gallon pot just how full that is. So one plant really does a big job. And that's what we're finding too in our aqua pots at home is we planted two of these and I think we have 24 inch aqua pots and they have just really taken over the backs of those containers. So really filling out nicely, spilling over nicely. It's got beautiful shades of burgundy, kind of a hot pink there, nicely serrated edges. And you can see actually the flower size by me holding it, um, but a great filler in a container combination. Here's a new Superbina. This is Superbina Pink Cashmere. And I've talked about this one a lot too because we have this one planted in the aqua pot at home. And this is a monster of Superbinas. Check out the vigor on that plant. Really large flowers, so larger than a lot of the other Superbinas um, that we currently grow as far as the flower size, but also the habit of this plant. It's one that's gonna play really well with the vistas such as bubblegum or jazzberry because it's just, it's got that increased vigor going on. What do you think about this? Do you like that as vigorous? Or would you prefer a more compact, not as vigorous Superbina? Just kind of one of those curious questions. Next, we have a new sweet potato vine. It's called Sweet Caroline Sweetheart Mahogany. This plant is amazing. Again, we're doing a trial at home and it is just outperforming any of the expectations I have. I love the color of this plant, that beautiful mahogany red heart-shaped leaves. Yeah, in the containers and the aqua pots at home, one plant and it is totally just filling out that container super impressively. Um, almost, in as a matter of fact, too much. So when we get back home from the show, we're gonna go ahead and probably prune it out a little bit just to kind of give the petunias that are planted with it a little bit more chance of uh, having some more space in that pot. But here you can see it's planted singularly in its container. And it's a great mono plant. If you wanted to just plant a hanging basket or a container up of just this sweet potato vine, it really does make a good presence just in a container as you're seeing here. Here we have Superbell's Double Vintage Coral. And I must say, of all of the new Superbells here that are double, this is my favorite new double. This one is featuring shades of amber with orange veins really a nice sized flower. I love how they look like little rosebuds. In this color, I think it mixes with oranges, yellows, you could even put it with pinks or purples, or even here this new Bermuda Beach shade of color. I think those two would look really nice together as well. Speaking of Bermuda Beach. So Super Tunia Be Bermuda Beach has been improved and I am so glad. This is probably one of the best improvements I've seen so far in the Superbells. And it's not because of the habit, it's not because of the vigor, it's because of the flower color. So Bermuda Beach, for me personally, I had such a hard time like figuring out what to plant with it. It was such an odd color of pink 
that you certainly couldn't put other pinks with it. You could put purples with it, but I don't know, it just never really felt quite right. So now it's got a much richer coral pink color. It does have better garden performance, so of course that's a plus. And it just has its non-stop blooms from spring until fall. One thing with super tunias that I always like to tell people is you do need to feed them at least once a week because it keeps them looking flowerful and fabulous all summer long. What do you think about this new Super Tunia Bermuda Beach color? Especially those of you who maybe who have grown Bermuda Beach in the past. Next, we have a new Super Tunia Mini Vista. This is Super Tunia Mini Vista Ultramarine. So this, I would say, would be the baby brother of the Super Tunia Royal Velvet. This color matches Royal Velvet really nice. The Mini Vistas, are a little bit smaller flowers than the regular vistas. They have excellent garden performance, so they do great in the ground as well as in hanging baskets. You can see here, this one's a very prolific bloomer with just a ton of beautiful purple blooms. Again, it's a super tunia, so we recommend that you feed these once a week with your favorite water-soluble fertilizer, or we recommend the Proven Winners water-soluble fertilizer. Um, but yeah, just a really nice addition to the mini Vista series. And it's nice that there's one here that kind of pairs up nicely with the Royal Velvet. Here we have another new double super bells, double bells smitten pink. So this one too is very pretty. I'm loving the light pink, dark pink combination. Cute little rosebud blooms. Super bells are great for in containers or hanging baskets. We really don't recommend planting them much in the ground. Um, we are doing trials in the ground right now, and they're doing okay, but super bells are always best planted in a container or in a basket because they really don't like to have wet feet. So they like to be in an area where you can water them and that they can dry down in between waterings. Next, we have the most unique variety of super tunia, I think, this year. And this is the Hoopla Vivid Orchid. So you've heard what Rod's thought about this one but I'd love to know what are your thoughts. So the Hoopla Vivid Orchid, Vivid Orchid features almost jazzberry pink purple centers and they are nicely framed in or edged in in a crisp clean white. The Hoopla series definitely gives a different look to any of the Super Tunias so far that Proven Winners has. And you can see here planted as a mono planter, just this one singular plant in the pot it really does put off a pretty good show. You could pair it with your favorite Super Bells or Super Bina if you wanted to create a beautiful mixed combination. But just singularly, this plant really is doing a great job in this container. Next, we have the Super Bells Double White, and white is white, right? But this is actually a very crisp, clean, bright white. And you can see it's very prolific with the flowers beautiful rosebud looking blooms this would pair well with you know if you wanted to make a combination of a bunch of the double super bells you could certainly do this or plant it with your favorite super tunia uh, i think the doubles really also add a little bit of dimension too when you're planting up your containers so just you know not like a flat flower they kind of pop a little bit with that beautiful rosebud look such a sea of beauty going on. We're gonna stop back and look at a few more of these varieties, but there's a couple varieties that were not featured in the new plant varieties. Well, look who's joining us here. We've got Rod. Hey, how are you doing? What are we doing? <laughs> well, we're doing a video. You're probably not being heard very well. Oh, so, I'm sorry. So we're <laughs> All right, he just had to make his presence known. Let's head on and look at more of the new varieties. So here's a beautiful display of the double vintage coral. And I think the other ones on the new plant alley look nice, but these here, this container looks, I think, a lot even nicer than what we're seeing there. Just give you the view of the beautiful flowers. The lighting kind of skews the color just a little bit in here. It kind of makes the greens a little extra green. Um, so I do apologize for the weird lighting, but that's what happens when you have whatever kind of lights they use in the trade show. Uh, here we have the double redstone again. And again, these plants really aren't, really aren't being very um, good representation of what the plant looks like. Maybe let's get a picture of the sign. <laughs> I know that's a picture, but in real life, like that's what those flowers look like. Super gorgeous. Making our way around. This is my absolute favorite 
new variety for 2024. And this is the one I never get the name right on. This is Super Tunia Saffron Finch. What I like about Saffron Finch is it's a crisp, clean, bright yellow Super Tunia. So there's a couple other Super Tunias that are yellow. They're really pale or they've got orange tones to them. But this Saffron Finch just hits it out of the park. I this is a must have in my opinion a super tunia so if you like to work with yellows which i know there's a lot of you out there that love to work with yellows the super tunia saffron finch you can see in this display is just stunning and they have it actually paired next to the uh, hoopla vivid orchid which this is just another display to kind of show you what vivid orchid looks like you can see they have it in combination in combination there with a Super Tunia Mini Vista White, along with a Super Tunia, I think that's the Imperial Blue. That's a really cool look. I could see that, I could see doing something like that. Or even, we'll try to get the two pictures in one shot. What do you think about the yellow Saffron Finch with the Hoopla Orchid? That's pretty cool too, I think. All right, so uh, what do we got? We're just gonna show you all the things all the displays because I think there's just so much to see here. This is cool. You know we talk a lot about our Vista Jazzberry and how we love Vista Jazzberry. Look at 2024. It's the annual of the year. Rod is going to be so excited. He loves, we both do, we love the Super Tunia Vista Jazzberry. If you haven't tried that, give it a try. You can't go wrong. All right, so now we're just going to kind of walk through the booth and show you all the annuals. We've already touched on all of the new annuals for 2024, but I think there's just so much to show you. Since you can't be here, I want to take you along and just see all that we're seeing here in the display. So let's head out of the display. So here are some beautiful displays of just some of the Super Tunias. And I think what's cool about this is they're showing them all to you individually in the baskets. But this could give you some different ideas of some of the different Super Tunias you could pair together to create your own combinations. So let's take a look at what we have. Uh, first, we have the beautiful bicolor Lovey Dovey. That one features the bright pink and white stripe. Up above it is the Super Tunia Black Cherry, which is a really deep, rich burgundy cherry color. Next to it is the Super Tunia Persimmon, which is new for 2023. We've done a lot of that in the landscape this year and have been really happy with that now that it's got its first year out. Next, we have the Super Tunia Blue Veined, which is a nice trailing Super Tunia, uh, very soft lavender with a deep violet purple veining. Behind it is the Super Tunia Rose Vein, and I love that rose vein. I just love how it pops the darker pink centers with a lighter pink on the outer edges. It's another nice trailing variety of Super Tunia. Super Tunia Lemon Cello. So when I was talking about the lighter yellow color, uh, lemon cello is the one I was referring to. It's a great plant, a great color, but to me it just doesn't have that pop of the saffron finch that you're seeing just behind it. You can see how it's just a little deeper and a little richer on the saffron finch behind it. Of course, the one everybody just loves is a Super Tunia Bordeaux. You can't go wrong with Super Tunia Bordeaux. And actually, we're going to back up a little bit so we can show you the Bordeaux with a saffron finch in the background. So that you could see that pairing as well so you can see them kind of side by side there that would be a great mix throw a little white or a little pink in and voila what a beautiful basket that would be up front here we have the super tunia royal magenta even that one would be good with that saffron finch and bordeaux that could be the pink that you would use to create a beautiful combination and then up top there is the new super tunia bermuda beach improved kind of just really showcasing the entry here. All right, so I think this is a great place to end this video. We're gonna end it here with a Super Bina pink cashmere, just to show you how beautiful and vibrant it is. If you have any questions or comments on any of these new varieties for 2024, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Um, all of these varieties will be available probably around December of 2023 to order online. Uh, Pre-order for spring of 2024. You can head to our website, GardenCrossings.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi from Garden Crossings.